Hey guys, what's up? Stephanie here with Creating Within. So I want to share a story with you today from my inner world in order to help you wherever you may be in your own inner world. So a while back, the universe presented me an interesting situation. Basically, I'm just going to give you the points. I met a person. This person pursued me, found my information. I interacted with them because I had felt the connection. And as I was talking to this person, he had requested me on Facebook. When I look at his Facebook, I notice that he's married. At that point, I was a little confused because I was like, well, what the hell's going on here? He's obviously very interested in me, but he's married. And I'm thinking, this is not something I prefer. <laughs> what am I attracting this situation into my life, right? I was like, ah. so immediately I asked him. He was honest about it. At that point, I wanted to ask, like, well, what the hell? <laughs> Why are you reaching out to me? But I didn't, so what I did was I went radio silent and I just didn't respond back to him. Later that day, I ended up having a conversation with a friend of mine who I also consider very wise and he told me, he's like, Stephanie, there's an opening here and you should explore the connection. And immediately when he said that, I was like, what do you mean? He's married, why would I do that? And he challenged me and basically said, Hey, not every connection is what it seems like. A lot of times, in order to, to open the door of connection with someone, usually there's always an immediate attraction on one person or another that draws you in in order to engage another person, right? So a lot of times it's going to be in this form of physical attraction. But it doesn't necessarily mean because you were physically attracted to each other, you had this initial attraction that it needs to be pursued from that avenue then many times that's just to get you in the door to give you the opportunity to connect with this person and then receive whatever message or lesson it may have in store for you but oftentimes what happens is like what i would what i was going to do which is completely cut the connection off altogether or some of us which i've done in the past is just completely run on that one connection immediately when you connect with the person, not giving it time to see more as to why you came together. Basically, he challenged me to go into the experience with an open mind and to not be focused on the fact that this just has to be this one way. And because I'm on purpose and I'm living from the inside out, this is what it's about. It's about looking at life to such degree that you're going into everything you do with purpose and awareness and with intent. So I took the challenge. I'm like, you know what? You're right. There's a reason why this is presenting itself. And my judgment of it is going to rob me of whatever experience I may get gain out of this for both of us. So I decided to go into it and I text the person back and we hung out a few times and talked. And he basically, at some point of us hanging out, this individual shares with me exactly how they feel and what they want from me. Which then gave me the opportunity to, one, speak up for myself and to be true to myself. I was very honest with him and I told him where I was at. I said, look, I recognize that we have a connection and obviously we're physically attracted to each other, but I can't go there because I just don't feel comfortable and it's just not who I am. I, I just realized that if I did engage in this relationship with you, this is not an aspect of my life that I would be comfortable sharing or being transparent about. And because the thing that I'm trying to bring more into my life is authenticity, is transparency, is speaking my truth, this would be in direct contradiction with what I'm saying that I prefer. There are other ways for me to get my desires met and that I don't need to compromise who I am in order to get certain things that I want, whether it be love, whether it be a romantic connection, whether it be whatever it might be. So what just happened here? The universe brought me this interesting scenario that gave me the opportunity to act on what I was saying that I preferred. See, because a lot of times we say, I want, I want, I want this, I want this in my reality. 
And all you're getting is the contrast of it. But you're not realizing that life is going to set you up for the things that you want. It's going to give you certain situations that are not going to look like exactly like you want. It's going to have a bunch of contrast in it. But it's going to give you the opportunity to act on what you say you prefer. So if I'm saying I prefer authenticity, here is this perfect situation that allowed me to one, speak up for myself, to speak my truth, and to be transparent with this person with where I stood, and to be authentic and make a decision that was in alignment with myself. And so here, it, it gave me the opportunity to experience all three things, but in order for me to have what I say that I want, I needed to first act on it. If I would have done the opposite of that, then what would happen is I'll probably have another situation that's gonna be even to a degree further of contrast within that range. So what I learned from this experience was one, that not every connection is what <laughs> it seems and not to be so quick to judge something without going into the experience and finding out why it's even in your reality because it's in your reality for a reason and it's all about how you use it. You're constantly in a state of clarifying and asking for the improvement of whatever you're seeing. That's why there's so much chaos in the world right now and you see so many things that you might not prefer in our society, for example, but the contrast of that exists in order for us to ask for the improvement of it, in order for us to be the difference, in order for us to to stand up and change what we are seeing. Because when you see something enough that you don't prefer, if you don't wanna see that anymore, then you need to do something about it. You need to act different. You need to act in a way that is in alignment with what you say you want. I hope that you enjoyed my story and I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao.